This has got to be good for me, you guys. I don't get out much, and I'm out. <laughs> yeah, I have kids. kids. That's right, plural, I have kids. Because kids are like DUIs, you know? Sometimes you need more than one to learn your lesson. <laughs> I, you know, the second one was actually planned. Um, that doesn't make any less of a mistake, but <laughs> planned it. My husband begged me for a second baby. He just couldn't stop begging me for another baby. And I knew I was going to be the one that's going to have to walk and feed it, but I <laughs> gave in um, because I am a good wife. I do whatever my husband says. Um, that brings me to my second um, topic, marriage. Uh, the kids weren't the worst mistake I ever made in my life. Getting married was. Because uh, you can't drop your husband off at a fire station or a hospital. Like, <laughs> No questions asked. You gotta get the law involved. Like I even changed my name when I got married. I used to be called Bob Sherry. <laughs> and there's no such thing as jobs when you're married, right, ladies? They're blow duties. <laughs> who's 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 married? Are you married over here eating a salad? You're married. He's not. He's married. You're not. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> okay. Well, um, do you want to be married to him? Because there's going to be some paperwork. <laughs> um, not really. You don't want to get married to him or anybody. Neither. Neither. That is such a sophisticated woman of the 90s. I, oh, man. Then men offered me diamonds, and I said, oh, I'm in. I'm totally in. Actually, so this this diamond, it's a, big, it's a, it's a tiny diamond. Um, uh, we're broke. Uh, actually, my husband lost his ring, and we can't afford to replace it. So I just bought him a pair of Crocs. It serves the same purpose. It's like, is he married? Yeah, he's wearing orange flippers. And I'm pretty sure he's married. And I make him wear them with socks so they know he has kids. Oh, so you're no, oh yeah, don't get married. Don't do it. There's a lot of chores when you're married. You probably, you know, have deodorant with pubes all over it. And that doesn't fly when you're married. Like, there's tons of chores. There's dishes and sex. Lots of sex. Your husband, you're the house when you're married. And um, the doors lock from the outside, you'll find when you're married. And my husband started noticing that I was, I was, you know, using the chore excuse, so he, you know, wasn't getting laid enough. So he started helping, kind of. He got me one of those things that, um, they're like small and round, and they follow you around vacuuming. What are those things called? Mexicans. <laughs> so that frees up some of my time for him to try to have sex with me. Um, and we're totally, totally broke. Like, I'm talking, we buy our produce at the 99 cent store broke. And the other day I was in there buying some bell peppers and I saw the weirdest thing. I saw a 99 cent store pregnancy test. Like, seriously, if you're shopping at the 99 cent store for pregnancy tests, you're pregnant. <laughs> and that's a 99.9% .9 accurate reading right there. <laughs> and it wasn't even like where the pregnancy test should be, you know, like, by the tampons and the condoms and the dreams, you know, around like aisle nine. It was at the checkout stand. Like it was total impulse buy. It was right next to the barbecue flavored Skittles. You know, and it was like totally like Roomba height. It was, <sighs> it, it was perplexing.